You know, since we don't know the new Nintendo Switch games that are coming for Nintendo 2023 and 2024, aside from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4, I'd personally like to see a new Star Fox Adventure game made by Platinum Games. Maybe a new Toon Link Adventure on the Nintendo Switch, or even a Zelda game, and maybe even a 3D Donkey Kong game that shakes up the usual 3D format. What are your wishes for Nintendo 2023 and 2024? In this video, we are going to talk about Nintendo's plans for the rest of 2022, Nintendo in 2023 with all the mystery games that are involved with that, and a bit of 2024. We will also talk about how the current way Nintendo is sharing Nintendo news and how this affects the next big Nintendo Direct and even when that can be. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, it helps the video out a lot, and if you want to help me reach my goal of a thousand followers, my Twitter handle is RoboRob93. Without further delay, let's continue with the video. So Nintendo has finally given us the Bayonetta 3 release date, something that I think was the last Nintendo Switch game that we needed to know about in 2022 when it comes to the bigger Nintendo games. DLC wise, we still gotta see the Mario Kart Deluxe DLC. Right now we have release dates for Bayonetta 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Splatoon 3, Live Alive, and Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Really the only one we don't know is Advance Wars 1 plus 2, which is rumored to be revealed sometime soon and it's supposed to be for February of 2023 according to that rumor. But it is a rumor guys, so take that with a grain of salt. With Bayonetta 3 receiving a Twitter drop slash new trailer on the Nintendo YouTube channel, it's clear that we're not getting any of those big Nintendo Directs this month. That Nintendo Direct that was supposed to set up 2023. So how is Nintendo going to go forward in giving us new information on these games? Well, from what I can see, Nintendo is throwing out that June Nintendo Direct or E3 Nintendo Direct this year and spreading their announcements across the next couple months while mixing in some news about upcoming games. This ensures that we get a whole bunch of new Nintendo Switch news from new Nintendo Switch games like Bayonetta 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and other games. And even new reveals from games that we didn't even know about that should have been announced at that June Nintendo Direct like the new Kirby game. A while ago, this was one of my theories and guesses on how Nintendo will be showing their news and updates instead of that big Nintendo Direct. Now this certainly does leave some unanswered questions about 2023. With all of the recent news from the mini Nintendo Direct with new games like Persona 3, 4, and 5, to the Mega Man Battle Network collection coming sometime in 2023, to more recent news like Live Live getting a demo, to even bigger stuff like Bayonetta 3's release date, or the switch of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Splatoon 3's release date, there is one thing that all of these have in common. Aside from Mega Man, I guess. They all set up 2022. We don't know what's happening in 2023, which is very strange and here's why. Usually we would have had that June Nintendo Direct that at very least sets up the first half of 2023 and the rest of 2022. Nintendo has all but cut that in half and is only showing us half of what it usually shows. Now some may say that we still have plenty of months left in 2022, which is true, but keep in mind that Nintendo shares more info around the fall time as well, not just in the summer. Seeing as we never got that big Nintendo Direct in June or even July, because I definitely don't think it's going to be coming this month, it's already the 20th, you would assume that a Nintendo Direct is coming in September. Now there is a way how you can kind of guess how Nintendo will go about sharing their news. You can always look at what they do in the past, because usually what they do in the past can dictate their future, which makes a lot of sense. If something is working, of course you're going to be doing it again. Now considering that we got that E3 Nintendo Direct last year and Nintendo still has enough news to share this year for a September Nintendo Direct, I would think this year should be the same, if not more, since they are holding back a lot of announcements. Especially when you compare it last year to this year. I mean, even after that June Nintendo Direct last year, we had a Smash Bros Direct, an Indie Direct, and an Animal Crossing Direct all before January. So even last year when Nintendo shared news through an E3 Nintendo Direct with a full Direct, not a mini Direct or a smaller Direct or a partner Direct, it was a full E3 Direct, they still had other news to share with us. So I would expect that to happen this year if not more because they are holding back some news. Right now is mid-July and we just had the June mini Nintendo Direct and the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Direct. What I think is going to happen is Nintendo will have a Splatoon Direct in August. I don't know when exactly, but if I were to go off of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I would say that it's going to be in the back half of next month, around the 20th through 25th. After that, I think we'll shift into September, and we'll start to see Nintendo ramp up the trailers for Splatoon 3 while promoting that Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch OLED as well. And then we can get that September Nintendo Direct that sets up 2023. Now, I do have to say, until then, we can probably assume that Nintendo will keep dropping some Twitter drops here and there, along with the trailers as well on their Nintendo channel. I can also see Advance Wars getting a new Twitter drop release date and a new trailer as well with some gameplay 
snippets. It is currently rumored that we're going to be getting a new release date in February of 2023 for Advance Wars 1 Plus 2, so we'll see if that's true. Now, when talking about the next big Nintendo Direct, the question is what is going to be in it and what will it set up? Well, I think it'll only set up the first half of 2023 and the rest of 2022. I think there will still be some hidden gems though, perhaps the Zelda ports. It is still heavily rumored that the Zelda ports are still indeed coming. Even Jeff Grubb is saying that they're still coming and he expects them this year. Though that's him saying he expects them to come and not that they're officially coming. So don't take that as fact right now. Now, if you ever thought, why the heck did Nintendo not celebrate the Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary like Mario's 35th anniversary? Click the top right corner of this video and I will attempt to answer that question. Now, there is also rumors of a Metroid Prime 1 remaster as well, so that could possibly be at that September Nintendo Direct. I think those would fit nicely in a December release or maybe even a Halloween release. I also think we will absolutely, without a doubt, see Breath of the Wild 2 at that September Nintendo Direct. But I fully believe also that we will see it later than that September Nintendo Direct because I think we're going to get a Breath of the Wild 2 Direct. And I think that Breath of the Wild 2 Direct will land closer to the release date of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. But here's the thing, I don't think we'll see it in 2022 or even in the start of 2023. I think just like Xenoblade Chronicles 3, it will be a month or two before the release date of that game. And that is for one specific reason that makes me think that. I used to think that because Breath of the Wild 2 was coming in 2023, we would see the reveal date for the new Nintendo Switch closer to that September Nintendo Direct or even at that E3 Nintendo Direct that we were supposed to get. It could have been a Switch Pro or Switch 2 or even another special edition. But after the release of the new Splatoon trailer with the new Splatoon Nintendo Switch, it got me to thinking, why would Nintendo release a whole new Nintendo Switch that is supposed to be the next Nintendo Switch, whether that's a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro, when they already have this new edition for the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch? I can't speak for you guys, but personally, I would save my money to put it towards the more powerful Nintendo Switch. So this right here makes me think that Nintendo isn't going to reveal the next Nintendo Switch in September. I honestly don't know why they would if they already have this other Nintendo Switch already existing. I think Nintendo will place that closer to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. I mean, let's take a look at all of the recent models. The OLED was launched with Metroid Dread to push sales for that game. Splatoon 3 got an OLED model to launch with Splatoon 3. It's clear that they're making these new Nintendo Switch consoles closer to these bigger games. So I would not be surprised if we get another Nintendo Switch, even if it's not a Switch 2 and just a Breath of the Wild version of this Nintendo Switch model, which would be really cool. They can do a lot of cool things with that and release that about a month before the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, which is most likely in March, I'm guessing, which that guess could change depending on what 2023 is looking like. I honestly wouldn't doubt if they ended up making a Nintendo Switch OLED Lite as well before a Switch 2, because honestly, that would just be easy money for Nintendo, and I don't see why they wouldn't do that. And again, this is the kind of thing where I was talking about where you can look at what Nintendo does in the past and dictate their future a lot of times. Not all the time, because Nintendo is... <laughs> they're really hard to guess, but a lot of times they always just repeat the pattern of the previous year. Sometimes it's not on the exact date because stuff does happen, but usually it is. I'm calling it right now. I guarantee in a couple days or a couple weeks or sometime before September, most likely someone's going to come out and say, yeah, there's going to be a direct in September and it's going to be one of those leakers on Twitter. I'm calling it right now. But anyways, if you're Nintendo and you're seeing your games get a huge boost of sales with your new consoles releasing at the same time, you're going to keep doing it. Now, what about Metroid Prime 4? Well, I think this is going to be one of those games that it's going to take a while to get any big reveals for the game. I think because they restarted development, this could be a 2024 game, or at the very least, very late 2023. And even that's stretching it a bit because I think maybe they want to save it for holiday season of 2024. I just don't think we're going to be seeing that game for quite some time. I hope I'm wrong, but I guess we'll see. And that's what I think Nintendo's plans are. This is pure speculation based on some of the stuff that they've done in the past and just my own brain. I think they're going to be doing Twitter drops and trailer drops until August and then we get that Splatoon Direct and then they move into September and we'll get that September Nintendo Direct for the first half of 2023. Hopefully those Zelda ports will be there or hopefully even the Metroid Prime 1 remaster in 2022. I don't think we're going to get that Switch 2 or Super Switch or whatever you want to call it but I do think we're going to get that September Nintendo Direct trailer for Breath of the Wild 2 that will be maybe more story focused and give us more of an idea on what the heck is going on. I think that's going to get us excited for the game until that Breath of the Wild 2 Direct where we'll also see the Switch 2 perhaps or maybe maybe even a new Zelda version of the OLED, which is more than likely going to happen because they did that with Metroid Dread in Splatoon 3. I also think during that September Nintendo Direct, we're going to get that 3D Donkey Kong game that has been rumored for quite some time. Maybe they'll add the Game Boy Advance games to the Nintendo Switch Online service as well. Which, speaking about that, if you want to learn about those coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service and all of the leaks that are happening with that, click the top right corner of this video. It's actually 
pretty exciting. As for the rest of 2024, that's a huge mystery. I think it would be really cool to see some older games return that we haven't seen in a while. Like I said, in the intro, I want a Star Fox Adventure game made by Platinum Games. I think they would do a fantastic job to that. Or, I mean, with that. I don't know why I said to that. I would also like to see Game Freak take the Pokemon series in a bigger direction, make it way bigger than anything they've done before. Like, I want them to be super ambitious with Pokemon. I think Pokemon Arceus did a fantastic job, and I want them to build on that and make a sequel that's like five times bigger. Oh, and also, I want to see the Pokewalker return too, but as an app. I think that would be really cool as well. I also would just like another Toon Link game as well. I think Breath of the Wild 2 Link is cool and all, but man, I would just love a Toon Link game to happen on the Nintendo Switch. Maybe even incorporate some naval combat as well. That would be incredible, like flesh it out more than it was in Wind Waker. I know you did have some combat in it, but it was kind of a side thing, if memory serves me correct. And they already got the blueprint, just look at Assassin's Creed Black Flag, that has some of the best naval combat that I've seen in a long time. And to be honest, I haven't played a game that has beat it since. I would also like a new Paper Mario game as well that harkens back to the older RPG-centric mechanic Paper Mario games. I did not like the other one, I can't even remember the name, though that just might be the cold interrupting my memory. But yeah, those are just some of the games that I want to see in Nintendo 2023 and Nintendo 2024. Since we don't really know what's going on in those years, it's pretty much open season. Make sure you guys tell me what crazy games you would like to see in those years. It doesn't really matter as long as it's Nintendo and it's not something like, I don't know, The Last of Us 2 on Nintendo Switch, which would never happen. Also, tell me your thoughts on how you think Nintendo will show us new news for Nintendo Switch games. Do you think that we're going to get a September Nintendo Direct? Do you think it's going to be later than September? It could also always be later than September. It's Nintendo. They do whatever they want. Even if it makes sense to know no one else except them. Make sure you tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.